Do you know about this flower? It's called a baba bud. You can stand in front of it and tilt up to jump into it. Baba buds are this peculiar habit of shooting you up into the air after you jump into them, so you can use them to jump up to harder reach places. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Whoa, that's high. Okay. Nope, we know where we need to go. So all I have to do is use these Baba Buds to leap all the way up to the top. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just... Oh. Well, that's useful. <clears throat> hmm. Hold on a sec. Just needed to change the angle a bit. Alright then, just keep swinging and swinging. There! Just a few more to go. And this way. And this way. And we keep going. And... There! <clears throat> there it is. The Deku Leaf. Light your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf! Well, may as well try it out. Here goes! Wow! Hmm. <coughs> oh, and it shrinks back for easy use. You already mastered using the Dukuli. Well, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Now that he's shown us the way. <coughs> oh yeah. And since it flying consumes magic power, you'll need to cut the grass to find magic jars to refill your meter. Wow. Looks pretty foreboding. Guess that's where we need to go. Congratulations, swordsman! It appears you finally got the Deku Leaf! That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods, but cars trapped somewhere within. You ought to float over to the entrance using your Deku Leaf. Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. <laughs> Fortunately, I know just the remedy for that. Conducting the Wind's Requiem. Let's see, the one where we want to go is southwest. <coughs> so we just alter the direction a little, and we're good to go. <coughs> just need a good running start. And we should be right in the right direction. Just keep going. And we have contact. Much better. Nice job, Swordsman. You already mastered using your Jakku Leaf. You're a quick study. First thing it should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power. <laughs> the entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our Forest Haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you'll have to catch the swirling updraft. The updraft swordsman, drafts around here move swiftly. To time your jump just right so that the wind will fill your Deku Leaf, carry you into the updraft, giving you the lift you need. Alright, just let the wind take you to the entrance of the woods. <clears throat> so yeah, first things first, we need to get the wind in the right direction. Let's see. This time it's to the northwest. Well then, all we have to do is wait for that updraft. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Just gotta get across. Here it comes. Now! <coughs> Just tilt it up a little. Perfect. Uh-oh. Incoming. 
Yeah, you can also use it to fend off enemies. <coughs> there. Now we're just gonna replenish our magic. Oh. Ooh! A golden feather. Hmm. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Wind girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. <laughs> yeah, let's keep these for now. And I don't think we can take them on, so let's head inside. The Forbidden Woods. <sighs> okay, that's just creepy. So, where to go from here? <coughs> I let's see. Path to the right or straight ahead? Hmm. I think maybe... Let's go straight. Oh, more green choo-choos. <coughs> yeah, you're gonna be encountering a lot of these guys. Ah. Hiding again. We're just gonna have to wait for them to pop up before we can actually hit them. <sighs> the last thing we need is more of them. Hmm. They seem to have gotten quite the collection. Oh well. Time to get going. Oh great. More of them. <laughs> okay. Wait for it. Now! Duh. Always the one. Let's see. We got the map. With that done, let's see if we can find the rest. There we go. Yeah, definitely need... Yeah, there's the warp jar. Right at the entrance. <laughs> Much better. For it. Got it. Yeah, the reason I'm collecting a lot of these is... uh, I'm gonna need them later. Wow. That's a that's a heck of a big nut. Hmm. Makes me wonder what the rest of the plants are. Wow. Guess a lot of plants grow big here. <laughs> Whoa! Another Boko Baba. <laughs> that takes care of that. Now this guy... <coughs> Let's see... Torch... Oh, great. Well, at least we got rid of that thing. <coughs> there we go. That's all of them. And now let's see what's in here. A knight's crest. Wow. Wonder who put this here. Well, now that we scoured the bottom half, it's time we head back up top. Yeah. So the hot air can, so the air from the Daku leaf can also blow away leaves, often revealing hidden stuff. A fairy. Well, I've already got one, so... Okay, here we go. And a perfect landing. Yeah, this is gonna require the Deku Leaf. <laughs> Good thing there's no wind up here. Ooh, close one. So, just make a sharp turn. Hmm. Seems these Baba Buds can also restore magic power. 
<laughs> well, partially. Yep. No, just... <laughs> no, not that way. Yep. Perfect. Okay, I think we're almost there. And... There! Oh, great. Oh, better stand back! Oh. That was easy. As was that. Alright, next. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Those switches are... Those things must be wind switches. <laughs> and to get going, it just blow in the opposite direction. Next. Oh, great, more of those things. Let's take the wind out of them. There. <laughs> that ought to do it. Another one. Huh. That was easier than I thought it would be. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Let's take care of these things first. Yep. Another one bites the dust. Ah, just another Boko Baba. There, that should be all of them. Hmm. Guess we're gonna have to go up. Since my wallet's filled to the brim already. So there's no way to go but up. Now let's call the f trolley over here. There we go. <laughs> now we just gotta get that eye off the wall. So what's behind here? Ah. Another giant nut. Okay, just drop it. Then... <laughs> hmm. Oh, and uh, do not adjust your TVs, folks. That nut is actually deteriorating. <laughs> and if it goes too much... Jeez, this place is darker than I thought. Okay, let's back up a bit. Much better. Now I can actually get through here. Whoa. That's a big flower. And wait, those things... moving? Oh boy, nature can be real weird sometimes. But then again, I don't think these things are aren't natural at all. There we go. <laughs> I just need to get across. One more should do it. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to crack <laughs> another door open. There we go. Hmm. It seems to be going up. But where to? Only one way to find out, I guess. One more time. There. Hmm? Is that? Aha! Another warp jar. <laughs> I guess it's time to head back down. Perfect. Now then. Hmm? What are the... Spikes? 
Oh, those things... Well, they aren't harmful, they can slow you down. If enough of them latch onto you, so... The best thing to do is to use a spin attack to shake them off. Hmm, there was 10 rupees in there. Well... <coughs> may as well just see what's on the other side, then. <sighs> Here we go. Whoops. That's definitely not the way to go. Hmm, more boarded up doors. <laughs> Time to crack open. Aha! Another chest. Let's see what's in this one. The compass. Good, now I won't get lost. And according to this, there's another chest in here. <laughs> and another blocked door. Which is surrounded by spiky tendrils. <sighs> Guess we're gonna have to go the long way around. Jeez, these things pop up everywhere. <clears throat> and in the most unexpected places. Ouch. Let's see. That's a lot of rupees. Well... Definitely not going that way. Hmm? This way it is. Okay. Almost there. See, is it... Nope. Okay. It's gotta be this way, then. Figured it wouldn't be that simple. Oh. Now let's see what's in this one. A small key. Must be for that locked door we saw earlier. Right then. Going down. Oh. <sighs> I'll be right back. Got called away, but um, let's see. <clears throat> now let's see what's behind door number two. Uh, the choice switch in. Oh great! <laughs> Another pea hat. Well, <clears throat> at least we can call the tr at least we can call the trolley over. I just gotta get to the other side. Oh great, there's another one. <coughs> oh! Do not want to fall. <coughs> okay, that's another golden feather. More Boko Babas. Whoa! 
What's that thing? <coughs> hmm. Spits out those things. Ha! Take that. There we go. <sighs> okay, get off. Okay. There, it's off. And he's gone. Hmm, transformed into a normal one. <laughs> Not this time. Okay, time to head up to the next level. You again. That's another golden feather. Let's see. Only way to go is up. Oh great, now there's two of them. <laughs> well anyway, I think I deal with them for now, so let's go in here. Oh, it's just a... Uh, ooh, I'm gonna go with Feather. So what you want to do is to... You gotta... <coughs> slice at it to snap off its wings. Parry attacks also work really well here. <laughs> Dang, Pollen. However, now you also have to be careful when it charges at you. <coughs> Pretty... Pretty much like a rocket. Well, that didn't seem to work. <laughs> okay, it's on one wing now. There. Now let's let this to take it out. <laughs> It'll spew out more of those things right after it gets hit, so... <laughs> what you don't want to do is attack it as quickly as possible. Huh. A chest. First, let's see what's in this one. Not surprising. So let's see what's our prize for defeating that moth. Hmm. I think... It's our new tool. The boomerang. <laughs> one of the best weapons in the Zelda series by far. With this... Alright, let's see. Two switches. Okay, let's... Since we won't be needing the Wind Waker here, let's switch over to the Boomerang and... There we go. That should clear things up a bit. First, we grab the golden feathers. There we go. <laughs> and down he go. Ooh. Off with his hair. Ah, just what I needed. Hang on. He needs to be pointing up. Yep. Wait a moment. I think the reason it's looking up is this. Ah. Oh, now you decide to show up. All right. We won't be swinging this time. This time, climbing up. Let's see. Now we'll just latch on to the second one. And repeat. Hmm. There's a chest up here, it seems. 
going up. There it is. Maybe another small key? Nope, a joy pendant. All right then, let let's head over. I'm gonna head back down. Yep. I think I should be all right at this. Yep. <coughs> yep. <laughs> right on top. <coughs> yep. All right, let's see. Gonna need yep. the boomerang for this one. Wow, that's a lot of them. No one can get across with those things in the way. Hmm. Let's see. Oh well. <laughs> Not a bad turnabout. Alright. <laughs> now let's see what's in this chest. Another joy pendant. Gee, I seem to be finding a lot of these lately. Oh well, what can you do? Ah, I seem to be at the very top. <coughs> oh, it's that giant flower. All right, let's see what. Let's see what happens if these things get cut. Oh wait, super question. <coughs> well. Now I've landed at the very bottom of the of the woods. <coughs> and I think we're just about out of time here. We'll continue exploring the Forbidden Woods next time. See ya!